Hey guys, this is Wide Up bringing you yet another video tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about how to create an IED effect explosion on certain vehicles or people. Um, obviously, if you put down a vehicle, it's going to be the exact same thing as for a group of people. So what we have here on Takistan um, map, I'm running Ace and Acre. Uh, really don't need, doesn't really matter. Um, we have a blue four Humvee that's going to be driving to Kashab, and between there, there's going to be an IED explosion. Basically, all the IED explosion has in it. I have looked at a lot of video tutorials, and they're all pretty hectic. Um, this is the same exact way; you get the same effect um, and aftermath, everything, and it's, it's the exact same thing, basically, uh, cut in half. So you do it in half the time, and it's so much easier. So if you look at here, this is the trigger that activates the bomb once Blue 4 drives over it. Um, the axis A and B are going to be set to 10, and this you can set to whatever you want. Uh, basically, as soon as the Blue 4 vehicle hits the line of that trigger, it's going to activate the bomb. So if you want it to be like an exact pinpoint location of when the IED goes off, it's better to make it um, really small, about the size of the IED itself. Or you can make it like a line, so as soon as they pass right in front of or right by that IED, it explodes. So it's best for better accuracy, or if you just want some random explosion that might hit them, you would create it bigger if you want it random. If you want it uh, accurate, you'd make it smaller to the IED. Activation is set to blue 4, obviously. Um, the reason for that is blue 4 is what's going to activate this trigger. So you want to make sure you have it to whatever you have. So if you're putting down an OP4 group or vehicle, make sure it activates by OP4. That means that the trigger will only activate for blue 4. So if OP4 walks in that trigger right now, it won't even do anything because it's not activated by OP4, it's activated by blue 4. So that's the expl explanation for that. Repeatedly, um, basically what that means, and it will repeat. Uh, it's it is what it says basically if you walk in front of that trigger once blow up and then you respawn somewhere and you walk in front of that trigger again it's gonna do it again and again and again and it'll never fade out basically it's just an unlimited IED that keeps exploding uh, once means that once the trigger is activated it's done and that's the explanation for that um, right here we have the activation oops All right, sorry about that. Right here we have the activation. Uh, basically, this is the the script that activates uh, bomb equals bomb GBU12. Basically, what that is calling it's calling the GBU12s used from jets or planes, and simulating that explosion on the exact area that you spawn it. Uh, that's get position Jeep. This you want to make sure is the exact name of your vehicle. So you'll have two positions you need to change the name of. You'll have Jeep right here and you'll have Jeep right here. You need to make sure you replace both of those with the name of your vehicle. If you don't do that, the active it won't work at all. It's not going to explode or anything. So you got to make sure that whatever you name your vehicle, you change where it says Jeep and Jeep next between get position. It has to be identical to what your vehicle is or person or group. And that's pretty much it for that. Um, like I said, it's very easy this right here is my player that's going to be watching the explosion. You got the vehicle that's driving down the road, hitting the trigger, blowing up on their way to Kashab. And if you notice, we don't have any IED. So basically, if I were to look at this map right now, it's like a hidden IED. You wouldn't see anything on the road or anything like that. Um, so what I like to do, and there's a ton of different ways you guys can do different IEDs. If you have any ideas or comments or anything you would like me to do, just post it in the comment box and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but as of right now, we're just going to put down uh, an item that's going to look like an IED. So what we do is we just go into the units, empty, And basically what we're going to look for is a random object, anything really.
In this case, we're going to go with object small. So really, we can make it whatever we want. Um, we'll put, let's see, a suitcase. There we go. We got a suitcase. Now this is going to be right on the side of the road, like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to shrink the trigger to make it look and act like an actual ID. So they have to be near the ID for it to explode. You figure once they hit this line up here, it's going to explode, and the explosion is going to be over here. So we want it to be when they walk, when they drive right over this flag. We want it to be like in line with that. We want it to blow up in this area. So we're going to shrink this and move it a little. All right, and that should do it. Um, basically, it's going to be as soon as they hit that line, the IED right here is going to explode. Now, this is the easiest, cheapest way to make an IED script slash explosion. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and view this in game. If you notice down there, that little white speck right there, right on my crosshairs, that I'm circul circling, that is the suitcase. When they get within that area, it's going to explode. And here they come now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and any questions or comments, please post in the comment box. Thanks for watching.